All right, so this is one of my favorite minerals. We have calcopyrite here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because that's not the point of this video. I just wanna show you guys some different samples from different deposits and how it looks pulled straight from nature. So calcopyrite is about 30 to 35% copper. It's got about 35% iron and give or take the same with sulfur. So generally your values aren't going to be that when you have a piece of calcopyrite. This stuff right here, while it's calcopyrite, you only have about 15% copper. And the reason for that is you're never just going to find your mineral as just calcopyrite. You're always going to have some other elements in there mixed in with it, uh, which will make up your sulfide. But the important thing is your primary elements are copper, sulfur, and iron. Out of all of the minerals that we've found, calcopyrite is the one that's probably been the most profitable for us. We find the most gold associated with calcopyrite. And often you'll find silver in there. You'll find some zinc maybe, some lead in smaller amounts. This ore right here is something we found three weeks ago. And this is from a vein. We actually showed a video on this channel of pulling this out. So recently we've had this tested and this stuff will run about 30 to 35 percent copper and it'll have uh, some lead in there very small amounts as background levels some background levels of zinc arsenic cadmium and we're getting about three ounces or about 100 grams per ton gold with equivalent silver in this stuff These are all from the same place here. On the same mountain, we found this. These are from a old road, which used to lead to a pretty large pass producing mine. And this is actually considered VMS ore. This white stuff here is not quartz. It's actually barite. And this is Again, calcopyrite, but you're going to have higher values for gold and silver in this stuff. And you'll have some lead and zinc at about 1%. Another sample here from a similar area. This stuff runs about 10% copper. And here's a nice one. This doesn't look like much, but this is actually all just a solid hunk of calcopyrite. You can see some peeking through right there. And the reason for this is calcopyrite, when it tarnishes, it tarnishes to an iridescent color or it has this glazed over dull look. And this stuff runs about 30% copper with varying amounts of silver and lead and zinc and gold. This one here is from another quartz vein on another mountain and you can see not very pretty but this stuff contains about six and a half grams per ton gold, about 30 grams per ton silver and 15% copper. Again, this is from a VMS deposit as well. This is extremely heavy ore, and you're running about 30% copper in this. So you can see the tarnish there and the tarnish there are slightly different. 
This will tarnish in multiple different colors, sometimes iridescent. Sometimes it'll just glaze over like this. So this stuff is about a three and a half to four on the Mohs hardness scale. And it's got a greenish black streak. So if you were to take a hunk of this, scrape it over something, it should look a greenish black color. This stuff is easily scratchable with a, a nail or something sharp like the end of your pick of a hammer. And you can see slight iridescent color in there. Again, sometimes calcopyrite will tarnish to blues, purples, reds, greens. So other associated sulfide minerals will be pyrites, phalerite, bornite, galena, chalcosite. And this stuff is very very important ore of copper i don't know any other uh, mineral other than bornite which has more but this stuff is way more common and we find a lot of this stuff around so that's it those are the samples from the various deposits that we found over the last year hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching Peace.